Raise your hand, anybody? Like that chronic sickness. There's one, we got one. Now that guy's a homestead homie, don't let him fool you. I have to tell the funny guys, they're always the homestead homies. Uh, so here's a little secret, like I guess it's been over 10 years ago, but Doug and I did suffer a lot of chronic problems. And you may think that, you know, it's just kind of part of life to have allergies all the time, to have a runny nose all the time, just to kind of maybe feel tired all the time, having eczema, things like that. that we're just, just getting, getting old. To it. So. That's what I say. <laughs> So and, and then you would go and both of us did. I mean, he had he had horrible like sinus problems. He had eczema, colitis, and I was having like hormonal problems and I was having skin problems. My skin always was itching, you know. And thyroid. and yeah, thyroid. I was kind of a little thyroid issue. And the, and you know, lots of times you go to the doctor and there's really nothing wrong. You know, you have to change your diet. You don't have to do anything. So I went and took a class, a um, holistic lifestyle coaching class, and it was a little over 10 years ago, I told him, it's like, oh my gosh, that really was the step that changed and catapulted us into kind of what we were doing, because I thought we were kind of eating good, and you know, we were always pretty healthy, but then I learned that there were so many things that we needed to start to change. So that was our big step to get us to go to start doing what we were doing. a lot of locally grown, locally developed tomato uh, varieties, and they're acclimated, and I have good luck with them. So, um, two of the most common tomato diseases are fusarium uh, and verticillium wilt, and if you start looking at the various kinds of wilts, which include bacterial wilt, early blight, late blight, uh, septoria leaf spot. Unless you really know the the diagnostics of that plant, it's going to be hard to decide what we're doing. All right. So uh, my name is Kevin Bell. This is my wife Sarah. We're looking for some homes that I don't know if any of you have ever seen us before. We have a YouTube channel. <laughs> And if you buy your food at the store, you know grass-fed beef is fairly easy to come by these days. You can find that at Walmart. Not the quality of what you raise on your farm, but you can get it. But pastured or forested pork, something like that, you don't see that everywhere. So we'll go to this farm to buy it, and we're just like in awe. We're like, we want this. Yeah. We want our this kids. Beautiful to, farm. We want our kids to be like this. Um, what is this? Of nerves in public speaking, and people are like, You talk to lots of people all the time. I'm like, No, 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 I talk to a camera. It's very different. Um, I'll tell you that by the end of these events, I'm usually a complete just a puddle. And so, if I've cried or snotted on you uh, so far, I'm really sorry. Uh, whenever the number climbs and gets bigger and bigger, it's like, Cool, we're doing a good job when it's a number on the screen. But when we come to things like this, and it's real people and stories and tears, and testimonies, and photos of beautiful gardens. Um, it's very different. It's very different. That's not just a number on the screen. I'm the vegetable gardener at Thomas Jefferson's 
Monticello. And um, I've been uh, the gardener there for about, about 10 years. Why? Why are you here? Why did you come to the Baker Creek Green Family Club?